On today's show, we'll take a closer look at BAND, get to know more about how counselors are helping with four-year plans, and another installment of Lion Insider. These stories and more on this edition of Open Den. Welcome back to Open Den. I'm Saba. And I'm Allie. Band has been providing music for every football game, pep rally, and are now representing our school at UIL. Here's Jasmine with the inside scoop. Reedy High School is full of outstanding and talented programs, one of those being band. Our Reedy High School band is the backbone of our football games as they hype up the games and the students. What do I like about band? Um, I say that the community around it is very nice. There's a lot of teamwork involved and just you make a lot of friends doing it. The thing that's most fun about band is definitely the people that are in band. Everyone's like really close together where it makes it like a second family. And even though there's a lot of work with band that comes with it, it's still a lot of fun to make memories. With football season over, Reedy Band is transitioning into their concert season. Something that I'm excited about for concert season is probably just seeing how all of our winter concert music is actually like being put together and like played as a part. On December 8th, Reedy Band performed their winter concert music. The Reedy Band played a variety of different holiday songs. One of Hazel's favorite concert season activities is the Marchathon, which happened on December 11th. We march around like Reedy's own houses and we play Christmas music as well. Our high school band is a very important part of our fine arts department here and overall a great program. Make sure to support Reedy Band in their upcoming concerts. To get more updates on Reedy High School Band and when they perform, follow the Reedy Band Instagram page at Reedy Band. I'm Jasmine Mitch for Open Den. As course cards are being handed out and classes are being selected, our counselors are aiding students through their four-year plan. Now on to Skylar with more. Ms. Price, how are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. Thanks for coming to see me. No problem, thank you for inviting us to come uh, do this. Yes. So for anybody that doesn't know you here, uh, here at Reedy, who are you and kind of what do you do here? Um, so I'm Ms. Perez, like you said, and I am the lead counselor here. So I kind of run everything that comes through the counseling office. Okay. So I have some um, topics I want to talk about here. Um, what is a four-year plan and how do they work? Okay, so the four-year plan is literally what lays out every year of high school for you. Um, it's the classes you'll take and the order that you'll take them in. Okay. It's editable each year, um, so you can change it up, but it kind of lets you see what you would do each year. Okay, um, where can I update my four-year plan? So if I'm interested in kind of like moving it around or changing it, how do I, how do I go about that? Yes, yeah, so right now you can update your four-year plan in your hack, and it will be available to everybody um, through December 6th, you just click the courses tab in the career planner and you can update everything on your four-year plan. Okay, and then what, what if I choose a class I don't want? So you have until now, until April 16th, to change any course you want. After April 16th, the deadline for course changes closes and we cannot change anything except for the courses that are programs. So like band, choir, orchestra, athletics, cheer, we can change those, but after that, nothing will change. Okay. So what if I sign up for an AP class or advanced class that I want to drop or get rid of? How does, how does that work? That's a great question. So we want you to try to take rigorous courses as much as possible and to balance your schedule, but sometimes you get into things that are just too hard. So you are, once you're registered from April 16th forward, once school starts, you're in that class for six weeks, no matter what. Even if you don't like it or if it's too hard. So for the first six weeks, you have to stay in that class. Yeah, you have to stay in. We can't get you out. At six weeks, you can ask to drop it, and we can drop anything that has a lower course. Thank you so much. That, uh, that kind of explains it a lot more. Do you have anything you want to say? No, that's it. As always, they can always, any student can reach out to any counselor or me if you have questions. 
If you have any questions about your four-year plan or how to access any materials covered in your class guidance, just log into your class of 2023, 24, or 25 Canvas account. Here you can access the complete presentation and all links to help answer any of your questions. And as always, the counselors are here and available to help you along the way. For any assistance, you can stop by the counseling office, which is located in the rotunda across from the library, or you can email or scan any of the QR codes around school in order to speak to one of your counselors. This has been Skylar Sachs for Open Dad News. We have a lot of students this year. Today we learn a little bit more about one of our junior football players, AJ J. Rowe. Here's Nimrita with Lions Insider. Hey Lions, welcome back to Lion Insider where we focus on one of our very own Lions and their life inside and outside of school. Today we focused on varsity football player, AJ J. Rowe. What made me first play football was my dad when I was little, about four or five years old, just introducing me to the game and getting the love for the game for it. I wear number 11 because there's a lot of guys in the NFL or guys that look up to that wear 11. AJ has been playing football since he was little. He has always had a love for the game of football and hopes to play at the next level after high school. Uh, I currently have three offers from Illinois State, Pittsburgh, and Oregon State. Um, I was most excited about the Oregon State one. Uh, just hearing the coach uh, talk to me on the phone and tell me a full scholarship was very exciting. My goal is for next season just to have fun and enjoy the moment uh, with my friends, um, work hard, and um, just make a lot of memories. Now that we've met AJ, make sure to keep an eye out for him for next season. Stay tuned for the next episode of Lion Insider. I'm Marita Shower with Open Den News. Attention all seniors. The last day to register to vote is January 31st. The last day to apply for a ballot by mail is February 18th. Remember that early voting is from February 14th through the 25th. Election day is March 1st, and remember, you can find your ballot on votedenton.gov. Open Den is also active on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at RHS Open Den, where you can find links to our newspaper stories and show updates. That's all for today, Lions. I'm Ali. And I'm Saba for Open Den. Thanks for watching, and remember, Roar, Lions, Roar! roar.